Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. I am Chris the Girl. This is another episode of the Spooky Shopping Channel. Today, this morning, I should say good morning everybody. It's relatively early in the morning or at least it is for me because today we're going to Walmart. That's right, it is Walmart's time to shine in the sun, in the spooky sun. We're gonna head in there, we're gonna check out all things Halloween. Now we did cover a little bit of Walmart not all that long ago, um, but they were still setting some stuff out. It definitely wasn't a lot of stuff inside of Walmart, uh, but now they should be all ready for us. They should have costumes, they should have home decor, they should have the whole nine yards going on inside of there. I definitely would have gotten there a heck of a lot sooner, but getting sick and Dragon Con and all of that stuff at the beginning of September really derailed me on all of the spooky shopping here. But um, nonetheless, we got to go in there. We got to check it out. I'm excited. Walmart usually has some pretty dang good uh, Halloween decor in there. And um, I'm also hoping that the fact that it's the morning, it won't be so super busy in there and we can just kind of do our thing. So anyway, Appreciate you all clicking on this video as I always do. Thank you so much. Happy Halloween, everybody. Let's get shopping and let's go. Okay, we do indeed have full stocked aisles of Halloween in here. Look at all the inflatables up at the top here. That bear in the back with the rotating head. Oh my gosh, that is creepy. Okay, we're gonna take a closer look at that. They also do have a Demogorgon in here. He's got a little pumpkin. That is adorable. Looks like he's $35. That ain't bad. Head turning teddy. $150. Wait for it. Wait for it. That is horrific. It, that might actually be the scariest inflatable we've seen so far this season. Here's another cute little inflatable in here. I say little, but it's actually quite large. It's a whole set, $169. Bunch of spooky folk up there. I, I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking at. Is this from something? I don't know if this is from something, but it is It is really cute. Looks like the heart-shaped person is sitting on a throne. There's like a, a horsey over there, a, a skelly bunny, a reaper a mummy dog. I think there's like a koala with like little um, devil horns. Oh, it's adorable. I don't know what it is, but it is adorable. I have a whole barrel full of the squishmallows in here too. I know a lot of people love the squishmallows. They are really dang cute and soft. There's like a little witch one in here. I'm gonna say little, but they are quite big. There's a cute pumpkin one with a little top hat on. Looks like an owl down in here too. And I was about to say there's also a huge vampire in here with lar large nostrils, but that's definitely not. These are the eyes. These are not the eyes. Those are the eyebrows. Those are the eyes, not large nostrils. Right behind me, a lot of party supplies in here. You can uh, stock up on those uh, paper plates, paper napkins, all of that good stuff. Get ready for the Halloween party you all need to invite me to. Some really cute ones. I like the cats and the pumpkins in particular. All right, there's gonna be a lot to go through, so I will do my best with everything. If I point out absolutely everything, we'll be here for eight hours, so just to uh, keep that in mind. I like these pillows. There's some decorative pillows in here for $7. Got some good choices. There's a, There's a kitty cat with a bunch of pom-poms around it. Whatever this thing is, but it is, it's cute, whatever it is. There's a bat one in there. There's a pumpkin. Looks like there's a witch hat. These are pretty dang cute. $7, can't go wrong. Here's a great bowl. I do love the plastic candy bowls. I always tend to point them out because I just think they're really cute and usually a very good price. A uh, spider bowl here. I'm not sure how much he is, but I'm sure it's not too much. This is a really dang cool one. I love the spider at the bottom, the matte black of it all. Great little candy bowl here. So have a lot of pumpkin carving kits in here. The tools as well as like stickers and um, like googly eyes and all kinds of stuff that you can stick inside of them and on them to make them 
spooky scary. Lots of snacks and treats and candies and all of that good stuff in here too, of course. If you want to do something a little bit different than your standard Halloween candy, that's never a bad thing. Get some fruit snacks or some pretzels. That's adorable. Or some good old fashioned rice uh, crispy treats. Those are always good. And if real pumpkins aren't your thing, they do have some plastic ones in here. I like the little ones, all the different colors in here. There's a pretty purple and your standard white and a black one, a little mini pumpkin for $1.16. And then they have these glitter ones. These are made out of styrofoam, uh, but they're really pretty. I think these, uh, let's see here. They are 10 or $11. Walmart always has the weird prices. I'm just gonna round up or round down. $11 for these, $11, sparkly black. And there's a sparkly pink over there too. Lots and lots of window clings and uh, wall stickers. Two, those are always fun, always good to use. Ooh, this is a good one. Happy Halloween. Look at all the bats on there. $1.27. That's cool. I like the way that the bats look. Lots of really good decor over in this section here. I'm noticing there's some neon stuff in here. And if that looks a little bit familiar, it definitely reminds me of Michael's. One of the lines that they have this year is like a Halloween neon fantasy sort of thing this is uh this would be the the dupe of that and you know what i really like it it's very pretty hocus pocus out of candy signs four dollars and 44 cents cute little ghost little skull they've got a neat eyeball wreath in here and this is interesting i mean you we've seen a lot of like the flocked the like velvet skulls and and you know little things like that but i've never seen a little witch hat a little felt witch hat four dollars for this that's pretty dang adorable what is also adorable is this led ceramic cauldron look how stinking cute this little thing is little cauldron here has got the stars and the moons it is four dollars this is also pretty dang neat it's a ghost but he's like crying and like bleeding tears or whatever too. It says it's a bleeding ghost candle. So I wonder if it does actually bleed if you light it, but that's really cool. I love the, he's a sad ghost. You know, he, he's definitely a sad ghost. This one is $6. We've got some sugar skulls in here too. The Dios de los Huertos stuff in here. Got a cute cat. There's a doggy that looks like Villa. And they've also got these fine folks in here. This person with a guitar. This lovely person in here looks like they are $17 each. These guys down here, $6 each. Sparkly skulls, the green and the purple are really pretty. Oh, I think we've got, yeah, some pretty wishes down in here. That's nice. Looks like they are $13 each. The skulls are $12 each. Oh wow, they're a lot more substantial than I thought they would be. Bags of uh, glitter pumpkins in here for $4. Here's some more glittery jack-o'-lanterns, LED glitter pumpkin, $6. Ooh, glass pumpkins, these are always nice. Always a good decor piece here. And it does indeed have a little hole in there. You could put a tea light in there. These are $7. And going back to the neon stuff, they have a neon sign here. Eek. Standard good. You can't, you can't really go wrong. $10 for that. And then they do have a neon ghost in here. Super dang cute. He's only $10 too. These are all tea light holders and they look adorable. There's a jack-o'-lantern. The butt is empty, so you can put in your little tea light. Looks like they're going for about $2 each. Here's a kitty cat face and a super cute ghost. Oh boy, we may be going home with a few things today. Here's some more witches down in here too. These are super cute. That's definitely gonna be me when I get just a little bit older, a little bit more gray in my hair. She's got a little trick or treat pail super cute actually i really like that they are ten dollars each 
And we also have some of the witch legs in here for $5. You can stick inside of the ground. And more of the felt pieces in here too. There's the witch hat that we found a second ago. Look at this, they have a little, a bat. Oh, that is adorable. And a little ghost. Wow, the ghosts are really getting me this time around, huh? They are so dang adorable. This little canister is really cute too. Jack-o'-lantern canister. Dang, that is really nice. Okay, $5 for that. And there's some felt pieces in here, some garland. Little uh, mushrooms are adorable, $8. They've also got some witch hats in here. These ones are $6. Some signs, happy Halloween. You are something magic, can't go wrong. Oh, I know a lot of, a lot of you like the, uh, the fragrance warmer stuffs. They've got them here. It's a classic jack-o'-lantern, $13. Metal haunted house. This is great to decorate your mantelpiece with. Again, you really can't go wrong. $12 for this, and it does look like in the butt, you could put a little tea light in there, which would be really dang cute. Yeah, that's a solid, solid piece. Oh, and look at this. They even sell wax melts right next to the wax melt warmer. Walmart, you know what you're doing, don't you? Another really good sign here is just a bunch of hocus pocus. Yeah, these are good. They, they've got some really good, cute little signs. I like that. Here is some, ooh, this is, uh, these are large witch hats, garland witch hats, six of them for six dollars. No picture, so we don't know what it looks like, but they definitely are witch hats in there. And some more really solid decor pieces in here. So I gotta be, I gotta be honest with you all. I'm not necessarily the biggest Walmart fan. I'm not a Walmart person per se. I, I kind of try to avoid this place as much as possible. But when Halloween rolls around, when Christmas rolls around too, I change because Walmart has some of the best decor out there. In my opinion, you can get some really, really solid pieces for a really, really good price. Cute little pillow in here. I think that says stay spooky with all the little skeleton hands in there. Ooh, a coffin message. <gasps> a coffin. Walmart, what are you doing to me right now? Walmart's about to take all of my money. A, a 11 inch coffin message board. Stop it right now. Walmart, take every single cent that I have. Eight dollars for this, okay. Future Chris, do not forget to grab this on your way out. Spoiler alert, but don't forget to grab this. So got some really solid candles and candle holders. There's a skull, looks like this one might uh, be a bleeding one too. Also the spine candles, which I'm a big fan of as well. I think those also might be bleeding ones. These are some really cool solid votives with the spider webs spider web designs on there. These ones are, uh, let's see, $8 each. Uh, the spines are six, the skull is six, and they also have a really nice uh, taper candle holder. It's not very heavy. I think it's uh, $10. Okay, $10 for this, uh, but this is good. Yeah, if you have some taper candles or you're looking to be in the market for them, grab these from Walmart. Sure, why not? This is also really cool too. It's a uh, I get snow globe, three skulls in there, black glitter. That's pretty cool. I like the tombstones down at the bottom there as well. I think this is, yep, $11 for this. Some more candle holders. Solid, solid choices here at Walmart. Can't say that enough. $4.44 for this one. And a really neat, like, spooky wreath in here. Some more flock skulls. Got some fake plants and little uh, skull planters here. Can't go wrong with that. And looks like we're getting into the lights and stuff that you could do on the outside of your home part, which is becoming one of my favorite things now that we're able to do that with our own home. Looks like they got a lot of cool projections in here. Thunderbolts would be really cool. Uh, rainbow spider and spider web. That's legit. Here's a, a Disney one. That's super cute. Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh, there's a It 
projection over there. Oh, dang, a, a rainbow Jason Voorhees. Well, that's freaking cool. Some ghosties. Again, Nightmare Over Christmas, Hocus Pocus. Yeah, a lot of really good options in here. Looks like they vary in price. Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas is 23. The It one here is 17. Uh, the Rainbow Spider is 18.88. They've got those uh, projection lights in here as well. Looks like pretty much every fandom you can think of. And they also have just the, the classic characters in here too. They have our nemesis, the strobe lights. They have some LED light bulbs. Ooh, bleeding LED flickering flame white hanging candles. Four pieces for $6. That's really cool. You could do something pretty neat with that, I think. Let's see. Oh, the witch here on a broom. I believe that this one is me with the moon in the background. That's very pretty. This is a light as well. It is seven dollars. Take a look at this. They've got some ghosts, some hanging ghosts that uh, sing. <gasps> They're singing the spooky skeleton song. I love that one. Some neon ghosts up in here and also a neon bat. Really good Nightmare Before Christmas stuff in here too. Look at these Jack Skellington pathway lights. $23 for those really dang adorable and a Jack Skellington blow mold for $40. Look how cute he is. Looks like you can just go ahead and plug him right on in. Every single kind of light that you could possibly want and think of from the fairy lights to like really cool uh, string lights in here, pumpkins, ghosts, there's some multicolored skulls, and spiders. Dang. Really good options. I'll just do a little pan here for you, so you can see these kinds of lights in here too, orange and purple. Really like the multicolored icicle lights, spider icicle lights. They also have spider web lights in here, a bunch of different colors. Here's this one here that's just like a corner one. Here's some bush lights, which we do have bushes in front of our house, so I don't know, I might, we may want to do something like that since we're going, we're, we're, we're decorating the front of the house, so I'm keeping my eyes out. They also have normal, I, I always say normal, like Christmas lights, you know, those kinds of lights, all kinds of those, bunch of different colors. They've got curtain lights in here too. And then behind us here, it, it really truly is like a, a lot of like Halloween party supplies up in here um, from stuff that you could just like pass out to your guests or to kids or whatever to, I don't know, all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. They do have some mugs in here as well. Like there's a skull hand mug. That's pretty solid, $4.44. Here's another skull mug, $5. Cute little mummy mug, a solid pumpkin jack-o'-lantern mug. Tumblers that are super cute. These guys, these cups, which are always nice to have. And they have, again, like a bunch of like party supplies, stuff that you can stick and treat bags or whatever it is. Ooh, huge tubs down in here for uh, drinks or whatever it may be. And check this out, a purple plastic cauldron. Adorable, that's $6, okay. Ooh, look at these, what are these? Four pack mini treat pails. How cute are these? I love the little stuff. I think that these are like invaluable. You can always find big ones. You can always find really, really big ones, but you can't always find tiny ones, which trust me, there you can use them for things. I've done that in the past. These are so cute. They also have these really cute little uh, bucket tins in here as well, little jack-o'-lantern. Here's one with some cute little skellies. And this is an interesting bowl in here really cool little shape 
going on there, a ruffled bowl, about $3 for this guy. We got little cauldrons. Oh, I love these. They're so cute. The little ones just get me every dang time. A dollar for these. Okay, okay, Chris, don't forget these things. You gotta come back and you gotta look at them and you gotta put them in your cart. Uh, because trust me, like the past few times that we've been shopping, I have forgotten very key things to put in my cart. And I, I go home and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did not put that in my cart. I totally forgot. So anyway, diatribe aside, these are super cute. A tomb bowl, it's plastic, a dollar for this. They're calling it a bowl. That is adorable. Dude, check out this picture. This is the most metal cool picture. $5 for this. You could put your tea, your lemonade, whatever you wanted in that. That is legit. Got some great trays in here as well. Here's a standard jack-o'-lantern one. More bowls, a big bowl. Here's a little bowl, I like the stars on the inside of it. Skull hand tumblers. Here's little plastic wine glasses that are really cute. And yeah, just a lot of stuff for that Halloween party y'all gotta invite me to, as I keep on saying it, baking stuff. This is specifically more so for like treats. Like look at this cute little cupcake stand in here. Cookie making things. This is really cute. A, it's like a little knife, I think, little cookie cutter knife. That would be really adorable for the spooky baking. They also have other kinds of cookie cutters in here too treat bags, these bags of little cookie cutters. They have a whole thing full of metal cookie cutters. And the baking sheets are always a good thing to look at too. Cute little jack-o'-lantern. Here's a skull. And they also have like little, uh, like little muffin tins or like little cakes. Oh my gosh. And of course we got the sprinkles, the cute cupcake holders cupcake toppers, <gasps> the silicone, the silicone cauldrons. I think I bought mine from Walmart last year and they are so adorable. Six dollars for these. They also, it looks like, have some pumpkins, silicone pumpkins in the back if that's more your jam. Okay, one, uh, one aisle down and I think we have like two more to go. And so far, Walmart's gonna be taking every single cent that I own. A whole barrel full of mini pails. They're so cute. I bought a couple last year from Walmart because I never saw them anywhere else. I think we did see them a couple of other places this year, but uh, this is, I'm gonna assume, probably the best price, a dollar each. And they have a ton of them here, so. They're so cute. It's very tempting to just, grab, you know, I want to grab like a ton of them, but I know I don't need them. Okay, so moving right along in here, we got some blow molds and some very interesting things going on in here. Look at these guys. Cute little jack-o'-lantern with a little witch hat. How adorable is that? $10.00 for this guy here. So cute. They also have a kitty cat one here, black cat with a little jack-o'-lantern. Also very adorable. Got your classic pumpkins in here, classic jack-o'-lanterns. $10 for these. They've got a bigger guy up here for 19 and a cauldron mister for $25. I swear. I see these I've, we've seen these a, a decent amount, the misters. Here's a pumpkin one in here. And every time I say the exact same thing, I really want to buy this. I really want this, like a lot. I don't necessarily know what I would use it for, but it's just, it's so cool. And it's a cauldron. You can't, you can't possibly go wrong. And here's another blow mold. This one's a little devil bear. That's actually really dang cute. I like that a lot. Some yard stakes down in there that are really cute. A uh, little painting that you can hang up over there too. And then a 24 inch stackable pumpkins for $14. So this is three pieces. And I kind of wish that there was a photo, but I guess 
you just have the, the big one and then you stack this one on top of that one and then you put this one on top of that one. Okay, so that's what stackable means now, isn't it? Good job, Chris. Uh, yeah, that's pretty darn cute. We also have a light up skull in here too, $13. There's a light up eyeball. That's pretty cool. $13 for that one. They do have some fog machine stuff in here too. They've got the, the fog stuff and then the actual fog machine. Some more pathway lights in here. They've got skull ones for $17. Here's some hands. That's really cool. I like the different, different kinds that they have. Those are $17. One of those LED willow trees for $20. It's probably the best price, I would assume that we've seen for those. Those usually go for a lot of money and they're always really pretty. It looks like it's 48 inches tall. Classic grave breaker in here. Those are always good. 15 for him. Got some tombstone kits in here, which are always really fun and really useful. Bunch of different kinds of packs that they have in here. Look at this, another ghosty uh, candle. If you all like the ghosts, I know a lot of you like the ghosts. You're definitely gonna want to come to Walmart and grab some of these because they are so cute. This is a candle. The whole thing is made out of wax. Oh, uh, you don't look so well. Are you part of the living dead? <laughs> cool. We've seen a few talking pumpkins Please this season. Come closer. I don't bite that much. <laughs> These are awesome. Only $17 too. These are also really adorable little pumpkins in here. These are LED lights made out of plastic. About $2 for for these. Oh, some green radioactive spider webs. Those are always useful. A few more blow molds up in here. There's a mummy bear with a little heart that is super cute. And a stack of three pumpkins. A lot of spiders, a lot of different kinds of spiders that you can use to put onto your gigantic spider webs and all of that good stuff. They got the fuzzy kind, they got the sparkly kind, they got the little kind, they got the multicolor. Oh, these are pretty. <gasps> these are pretty. I like these. Okay. Don't forget to grab these, Chris, please. Please. Okay, anyway. Um, inflatable body bag. That is pretty cool. You don't usually see inflatable ones. $13. And also an inflatable coffin, which again, you don't usually see. That actually looks very comfy. These are cute little pumpkin pathway markers in here. Little witch projector yard stick. Oh, that's a cool idea. More like metal yard things you can stick inside of the ground. Ooh, here's some lights, some eyes you can stick like in your bushes or your tree or whatever it is. Those are always really cool. Snakes, little, little micees that are so cute. More little critters in me here, little cockroaches, little spiders. Ooh, hanging spider cocoons. Those are always really uh, creepy and weird. Here's some huge eyes. More little hanging witch hats. I like the multicolors on these ones. Here's the, the ever so funny witch that uh, runs into your door. These are always classic. You got your chains. You got your body parts. Here's a foot in the hand. Ooh, creepy cloth. You can't go wrong with that. It's always good to have some eyeballs ooh little body parts that's adorable and there's also some really cool there's a candelabra up in here here's a um some animated stuff hanging reaper and a hanging skeleton look at this if this looks familiar then you've been with the channel for a little while because we found this last year at walmart this exact same toilet cover with the bloody shark coming out of the toilet, you stick it on top of the, your toilet seat to like freak out your friends. Hilarious. We totally bought this. We put it on our own toilet. It sat on our toilet literally until the day that we moved from our apartment. And it is really funny. Bringing back some good 
good memories. Lots of inflatables in here too. We'll just do a pan for you. We've seen a lot of inflatables so far this year. They've got some really good solid ones in here. Nice. There's a little cute little dragon one. Owl. Skelly dog. They've got some IPs in here. Oh, these are um, car buddies. Inflatable car buddies. Okay, that's weird. I've never seen that before. Interesting. So you, this literally is just something, this inflatable car buddy, you just stick inside of your car. Huh. $23 for that one. Well, one thing's for sure, you'll be able to go into the carpool lane if you get one of these, so that's definitely a plus. And the rest of the inflatables over in here too. I like the Harry Potter ones. Voldemort is pretty funny. And then also this one down in here, True Believers Club. There's a little Sasquatch in there, an alien, a ghosty. That's super cute. I think, uh, I think Mark Muncy would really like that one. That one's $59. Lots of skellies in here. As you can imagine, there's a huge one in here for $88. He's seven feet tall. And he is definitely ginormous. They've got some neon green bones in here. There's some baby doll parts, of course. And then, yeah, all of the, all of the skeletons and skellies that you need. Some kitty cats down at the bottom here. The bag of bones, there's a rabbit, there's a snake, there's a spider, there's a huge skull. All the classic characters that we've seen. That's creepy. Some hanging decor too, some hanging skeletons. Really like the black one. That one's $13. They have the classic white here too for $12. They got the velvet skeletons as well for $16. And yeah, a few more things here for, uh, for the outside of your home. The cool hanging zombies here you could put in front of your garage if you wanted those are going for 21 Got a really creepy clown and this guy here you think these actually do things yep they sure do he's having a good little time laughing away if you think i funny you think look in the mirror <laughs> that's not very nice it's true but he didn't have to say it solid choices for the animated hanging decor here. These are also really neat. Here's a floating reaper. There's a photo of it. Seven feet tall. They always look very impressive. Very cool. They got a black one and they got a, a red one. A lot of googly eyes. Look at all these. Should grab some of these and bring them to Dragon Con next year if you know you know. And behind us here, costumes, costumes, and more costumes. So just kind of do a pan here for you. There's a, all the tutus of the rainbow, and I do mean rainbow in here. If you need a tutu, Walmart may be the place to go. Got some cute wings in here. That's pretty. Monarch wings. I always go towards the the butterfly wings. I don't know why. Or tutus, but I think these are for the youth. There's the little kits in here, the little tail and ears kits. Oh, cute little scarecrow one. That's adorable. Oh, there's a bunny one, a deer, a kitty cat. Here's some tiaras, wigs, of course, little, little tights. Again, these Look like they're for the, for the youth, for the kiddos. Bunch of different, ooh, here's some capes. Nice. Get the kids started early, y'all. Get them started early. And then, yeah, a bunch of, bunch of, um, accessories 
in here different kinds of hats and tools and uh, all that fun stuff, the whole arsenal of it all. Lots of different plastic weaponry in here. So if that's what you need, Walmart more than likely has you covered. A few more accessories in here. They do have these really pretty masks in here if you're doing like the masquerade sort of thing. Headbands. Ooh. They did get me with the earrings the last time we were at uh last time we were at Walmart. This is cool. Just like little devil horns. If you just want like a little something something but not a lot, you could go with something like that. Ooh, this is an earring set. I think this is like a cuff. Like an earring cuff? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Bunch of different kinds of really pretty jewelry stuff. There's one of these little thingies here that are always a lot of fun. Ooh, magnetic dragon jewelry. That's intriguing. Oh yeah, and that absolutely gigantic cattail that you were looking for. Uh, Walmart has it here too. I'm just gonna put that back. Yeah, just put that right back. And then yeah, this next aisle here is all costumes as well, but these ones appear to all be for the youth. So we'll just walk down and if you want to pause, if you take a look at anything a little bit closer, go for it. Ninja Turtles. Power Rangers, Transformers, Batman, Toy Story, Sonic, Minecraft, Kirby, Five Night at Freddy's, Chucky, Star Wars, Avengers, Trick or Treat, Hazmat Suit, that's pretty cool. Ooh, a ghost faced one. Very cool, a lot of choices. There's a few more accessories in here too. These are all wigs, looks like for adults. They got a bunch of different kinds in here. And the wig caps, of course. Bold caps as well. Whatever, uh, whatever you look you're going for. And they have some hats in here as well. And this would be Tampa J's favorite part, is all of the masks. He is a mask fan and they got a lot of different uh different kinds creepy clowns of course creepy pumpkins these ones are really cool we saw something similar to this at uh party city the other day Ooh, here's uh this one's topical little alien one that's pretty neat got some uh devil masks down in there too of course ghost face as well bunch of different fuzzy animals which in my opinion are the creepiest ones of them all. That one's pretty creepy too though. The ever important makeup and hairsprays, all of that good stuff. They have a pretty good selection in here too. Also little face jewelry is always pretty. I guess inside of these bags in here are adult costumes? Question mark? There's a pirate one. Oh, cute uh, little scarecrow. I don't know why the scarecrows get me every time. Deer costume. Uh, creepy clown. That uh, fireball cinnamon whiskey one that you've been looking for. They have it here. It's a Super Mario Brothers uh, costume in here. Ooh, a, a reaper one, that's pretty neat. Oh yeah, and the pickle costume also that you've been looking for, it's here as well. And then the other side here, more costumes for the youth. Ooh, a pink Power Ranger costume, I would have loved that as a, as a kid. I see a Western Barbie one hiding in the corner. That's gonna be a very popular costume this year. I have a feeling, again, just kind of doing a pan here for y'all if you wanna pause the screen and take a look have kiddos of your own, Walmart would be a great place to get those costumes. I'm also going to go ahead and do my PSA here as well. Uh, if you're doing the trick-or-treating, if you if you know you're going to be, you need a costume, get it now. Come here now and get it now because trust me, you don't want to be doing this in October. You don't want to do this at the last minute. 
it is so annoying and half of the stuff won't be here. It'll be an absolute mess because costumes are the worst for retail people to keep track of. Trust me, I've been there. I worked at Target during Halloween and it was the worst. Uh, so yeah, my huge advice for you all, get it now. It's never too early. It's all here and it looks very, very nice. So this is the best time to get those costumes. I got a lot of different options in here. Holy moly. Those sticks, of course, those are always good to have, especially if you're doing the trick-or-treating. Finger lights. Never heard of that before. Not gonna lie. Also, we got some pet stuff going on in here. So we got some snacks. And then over here, oh, trick-or-treat bags, by the way. And pails, always good to have. But, uh, oh, these are, the my bad. These are not fur baby costumes. They're baby baby costumes. Human babies. They're so cute. Th these are always the cutest ones. I mean, like, come on. That is adorable. Well, T-Rex, pumpkin, gnome, dragon, a little teddy bear. Oh, so cute. A oh, little uh, Snow White, a little bell. There's Minnie Mouse over there, Mickey Mouse. Oh, little Sully. That is adorable. Really cute, really good Disney ones in here. There's Bluey, Ninja Turtles, cute little pink monster. Yeah, all kinds of all kinds of really cute costumes for the kiddos. Okay, so clearly back in my car. Actually, I left Walmart a little bit ago and I am now going to pop inside of Target uh, because I wanna keep checking on, first of all, I wanna keep checking on their stuff, but I do want to see if their um, Starbucks, that's what that's called, I need coffee. I need coffee, I'm gonna get some coffee, and I wanna see if they have those lime, slime green uh, tumblers that I've been seeing photos of. I've never wanted a Starbucks tumbler more than I do now, uh, so I'm keeping my eyes open for that, so I'm gonna go in there and check for that as well. Unfortunately, they do not have those tumblers in here, which is a real dang shame, but I did get my coffee. And I wanted to say that this video's coffee is thanks to David. Thank you so much for always supporting the channel as much as you do. Cheers, happy Halloween. By the way, we do have Disney Halloween official merch inside of Targets now, which is pretty dang cool. Here's that, uh, trick-or-treat pail we were eyeing a little bit ago. Wow, it's your target. That is pretty amazing. And they got some cute stuff in here. Some PJs, some stuff for the youth, light-up necklaces, a little Jack Skellington pillow. Very adorable. All right, back in the car, as you can see, got quite a few purchases behind me here, so we're gonna do a good old-fashioned haul in just a sec. Alrighty, back inside of the spooky studio here, let me go ahead and show you all what I got from Walmart. So, I did grab the LED willow tree here. I thought that this was a really great price for it, only $21. It's 48 inches tall. I'm assuming that's as big as the box here. So it's not one of those huge gigantic ones that we've been seeing, uh, but it is still a very, very good size. I've been wanting one of these for the longest dang time. And uh, so I figured, you know what? Today is the day, now is the time. I will no longer uh, be willow tree less. So I'm very, very excited about this. And hopefully I remembered all of the things that I really wanted to pick up, but I'm pretty sure that I did. I don't know, we will see. When I go edit back the, the footage, I'm sure it'll be something. Uh, but I did thankfully remember the coffin message board sign. This is so dang cool. It has all of the letters in here in this packaging and you can uh, write a little little message on here. So I think that's gonna be really fun. I'm so excited about this. It is really dang adorable. Again, another good price for it. It has a little stand on the back too, so it can stand up on a shelf. So I'm very excited about this. I think this is gonna be one of my more favorite pieces of the season. I did also grab the little ghosty um, tea light holder thing. I just think it's really, really cute. I gotta get some tea lights because I don't own a single one. And I have all of these tea light holders, so we're gonna have to fix that at some point. 
Um, but yeah, he's just really cute. It's a really cute little, uh, little ghosty guys. And speaking of ghosts, I did get the crying ghost that is evidently a bleeding candle as well. Um, this is going to be one that I will be hard pressed to light though, to check on that and see if it does actually bleed because I don't want to ruin it. He is so cute. I think this is just going to be a decor piece in general. Um, really spooky, but also really adorable. So very uh, happy about the ghost uh, candle here as well. A couple more things. I did grab me some fairy lights. I'm a sucker for the fairy lights. I have quite a few boxes of them now. We've bought a bunch this season and I've only opened and used some of them. So I don't know. We're gonna have to figure it out. We're gonna have to really come up with a use for these fairy lights. But I wanted to grab these because they are the moon phases. So it's all the different phases of the moon. And I thought that was a really cool and pretty idea. Um, so I'm excited about that. Looks like they will light up purple. And yeah, they're just really pretty. So I'll we'll find, I'll we'll find a good spot for these eventually. Another thing that I remember I said that I was like, please don't forget Chris to, to grab this item is all of these multicolored glittery spiders. Um, they are so pretty, all of these different colors. Now I know we usually call out stuff for having a lot of glitter on them. These are no different. They are absolutely doused in glitter. So that's definitely the negative on these, but they're so pretty, I couldn't help myself. Also, it just happens to be right here, but uh, we got this baby from Target last weekend. And um, if you didn't see that video, it's this whole um, yard setup kit thing. It's one of those things. I absolutely freaked out about this uh, last weekend. I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to set it up. Uh, but as I was actually looking at um, the stuff that's included in here, apparently um, it has a spider web in there. So. Because of that, that means we need spiders for the spider web. So I figured I can grab these, we can put them on a spider web included in here and do a whole cute, uh, colorful spider web setup. I don't know, I have it like, I'm envisioning it in my brain and it looks good in my brain. So the execution of it all will be the kicker there. Hopefully I can figure out a way to uh, film that. It's gonna be tough because we're trying to reserve our privacy. We don't want people to know where we live. Um, so I think that that's gonna be hard to document, but I'm gonna try. I, I've had a lot of people request uh, videos on us decorating the house, on us decorating the outside, and I would really like to do that. So we'll, we'll, try, to, we'll try to make that happen. But um, anyway, happy about the glitter colorful spiders. And then finally, I did grab the little LED cauldron here. It is too cute. If you know me, then you know I'm a sucker for the cauldrons. So we can't say no to this guy. So cute, love the stars, love the moons. It lights up and it's amazing. And then yeah, that is it. That is all the stuff that I bought at Walmart. Oh, I did also grab some a huge bag of uh, Reese's bats and pumpkins and stuff like that. So we were stocked up on that. And um, I did grab some stuff at Target too, but it was all just um, random things that I needed. Uh, so it's not really worth showing. Anyway, that is gonna do it for this video today. I sure do hope that you all enjoyed it. Um, you know, as crazy as it is, the, the shopping season Halloween wise is, kind of winding down uh, for us in terms of videos and the channel and whatnot. Uh, Walmart was the last kind of huge store checked off of my list for the year. There's definitely still like a ton of um, other shopping things and decorating things and stuff along this line that I wanna do. Uh, so don't worry about that. We still have a lot more videos to do. Halloween is not over and of course haunt season and there's just a ton of stuff that we are doing. So don't worry about that. We're not done. Um, but in terms of like big shopping extravaganza stores and, and whatnot, 
were basically kind of winding it down. Walmart was really the last like big final piece there. So I really appreciate you all coming along with me on this journey. This was definitely, um, the goal of this year for spooky shopping was to make it bigger and better than last year, to hit more stores, to do more coverage on this stuff. And I absolutely achieved that goal. And you know, next year I'm hoping to go bigger and better than, than this year, if that's even possible. We started all the way back in June and here we are mid September and we hit a lot of, a lot of stores. We bought a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Oh boy. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun and I really appreciate you all coming along with me um, on this and, and for enjoying the videos. It, it means a lot to me. It, it really, really does. So um, anyway, thank you again for watching. Got a lot of stuff coming up here as I always say and we will see you all very, very soon. Happy Halloween everybody. Happy shopping. Good luck out there. A lot of really cool stuff. I tell your wallets and your spouses that I apologize uh, for making you spend all of this money. <laughs> uh, okay, bye-bye everybody. See you later. Happy Halloween.